Because of the following special program, Wonder Woman and the Incredible Hulk will not be presented this evening. Hello! Happy Easter! I mean, happy Monday! So, like, today is not actually Easter, but it's like around the corner and I was like, let's start making some Easter shit. Because Easter has got good foods. And you know who else has good foods? This guy has good foods. And I'm going to share them with you guys. Now, for today's Easter foods, it's also like my first holiday special. So we're gonna go really special with all sorts of things that are super easy to use. You probably don't have in your house, but your grocery store has. But it will probably take a long time to cook, but the prep time is only a few minutes. And today, because it's a special time, we're gonna use some special ingredients, like uh, vegetables, like these squashes here. I'm going to be making some yummy, yummy squash. Spaghetti squash. It's the best kind. And we're gonna use a ham the size of my head. <laughs> so you might want to pause the screen so you can see what else is here. But Dr. Pepper is not the thing you would normally expect to be using when you're making ham. But we are going to use Dr. Pepper today with this ham. We also have some Bavarian mustard, some apple cider vinegars, salt and pepper, and some brown sugar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the ham and we're gonna cut some diamonds in it so it has a place for the glaze to seep into. So when you get your cuts into your ham, you're gonna wanna put it into your roaster and set your oven to 325 degrees. After that, you're gonna wanna cover it with tin foil and when the oven's preheated, put it inside the oven. And now we're gonna get the glaze and glaze ready. We're going to start with about a cup of brown sugar. Then we're going to add a third of a cup of the mustard. And a tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar, which in my opinion is the most fragrant of vinegars. Not the most tasty. Ah. And now it's time to add the Dr. Pepper. And if you're stupid like I was and you drank some vinegar, uh, you might want to have some to cool your palate. Oh, much better. The only way. This stuff tastes better is if you mix it with rum. Look at that sexy fizzy fizz. Now this next part's pretty easy. We just have to whisk the hell out of it uh, and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then we turn it down and let it simmer. Excuse me, this Dr. Pepper. It's called reducing and uh, we want to reduce. So you're gonna want to just whisk the shit out of it. Uh, which doesn't take long at all. <laughs> well, our glaze is all finished. Uh, you may as well just set that to the side. Uh, we still have this squash to make, but we don't have to make that yet. It literally only takes like five minutes to prep the squash. So, grab your tablet, go play some Angry Birds, or take some selfies, or do whatever, go watch some more episodes of Let's Cook the Foods in case you missed the uh, other ones. And uh, we'll see you back in an uh, hour and a half. Hello, welcome back to the show. It was a fun huh, 90 minutes. Did you enjoy watching reruns of Let's Cook the Foods? Perhaps maybe even watch some Netflix or play the Angry Birds on your tablet. Anyways, leave a comment below how you killed that time. Back to the show. It's time to pull up the ham. We're going to glaze this bitch. Oh. 
eyebrows. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, so we're gonna get our glaze on. And when you want to get your glaze on, you have to have a fun brush. This one has really fun bristles. They're rubber and they move. But anyways, let's get glazing. Now our glaze has been sitting on the stove, still staying warm from the residual heat in the oven. Painted like your Picasso, painted like your Van Gogh. And just, just cover the whole thing. Just make sure to get in every nook and crevice. Okay, so now it's time to cut up our spaghetti squash. Oh, this is <laughs> dangerous. It's not the easiest to cut. Until it gets going, where are you going? Because it gets going, not going, like you're not going anywhere. And once the cut starts going, you can just press on through. you've got them open, you just get your hands in there and scoop out the guts. Alright, it's squash time. So you got to want to drizzle just a little bit of oil on this. Now add your salt and pepper. So now it's time to put the squash into the oven and this we're gonna let bake for like 40 minutes. Like I said, this doesn't take any time to prep, it's just a lot of waiting for things to cook. Look how yummy yummy this looks. Mmm, <laughs> I just can't wait to eat it. And look at this squash. You can tell it's done because you could just peel it. Peel it apart like pulled pork. Oh yes, just falls apart. Time to check out the ham. Juicy, so juicy. Mmm, look at that. Okay, so it's ham time. It's good ham time. It's time to put this on a plate and dig in. That's it for this week's Let's Cook the Foods. I hope you had a happy Easter. <laughs> And on that note, make sure to like and comment and subscribe, and we'll see you very soon. Alright, put your... Oops, drop the lid.